still haven't got through here. You'd think that that thing was like the worst thing that would happen. Maybe like collecting up some water would be really useful. Because, um, you know, to like splash in his face or something. bring him to his senses. Or do the whole thing with the guy for that matter. Maybe I do have to sneak past him somehow. Oh, oh maybe I should dress up as a nun. Don't know why that would help he's blind. I just really feel like I should knock her over the head or something. I really don't like him. Honestly, he's like the worst. William Nealands died of cachexia. Scratch marks have been found in his stomach. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Alma Moore, okay, a few days later, died of pleuritia. A clear expression of terror on the patient's paralyzed face was found at the time of death. Evelyn Benzi, three or more days later, died of marasmo. Again, I feel like these illnesses probably aren't real, but they might be those. I found the patient dead, emaciated, and, and typhoid fever. That's a real illness, I guess. The patient suffered severe hallucinations minutes before death, screamed and shook until the opiate started to take effect. <sighs> Osteoarticular tuberculosis. During the autopsy, we found some strange black marks on his fingers. Claude Harris. So he died the most recently. Oh no, I'm dead while I'm sleeping. Oh no. Oh, it's getting more often. Respiratory arrest notes blank. Alan Blair, morphine overdose. Patient committed suicide. Note, the patient did not seem to have depressive symptoms or suicidal tendencies. So someone's killing one. Great. Great. Just great. Just. Just goddamn great. Just. So glad. So someone is killing them. That's just that is just wonderful, isn't it? Oh god. Oh, there's shit in here. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Oh, oh, oh. Pray. 
I'm trying to kill him. I reckon this is probably not the way to go, but hey. Actually, yeah, fuck that. Um, we can possibly get through the tapestry with this. Which is rad. I forgot about that. There's always another thing, you know? really like the way this game works. I'm just not sure it's too fascinating to watch me puzzle over something for an hour. Who knows? Who might be? Okay, let's do this. Uh, combine? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that looks smooth. Yeah. Hey boys. And finally our expert in philosophy, Jeremiah Divitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We've been looking for you. I've been getting my hands slapped. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveying us. Who is it, Anthony? Oh, Anthony. My dear friends, it is Professor Glynn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly. No doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the classroom? The lounge behind the small door of the classroom. I have believed convenient to borrow the key f f for our necessities. You already know at 12 o'clock you will find that door opened and I'll be inside the lounge. That is it, my dear colleagues. Okay, Anthony, you are clearly the brains of this operation. Videte ne I still don't know what that means, by the way. Jeremiah did. So let's explore the place, I guess. Oh, not much here. Turn the victim of this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings now. It's empty. Pity that there aren't any things in there for me to find. Was there a complete disarray? Oh, sorry. I could probably punch through it if I tried. Go for it. Go for it, man. This is the bed where he used to sleep. Oh. Oh. Don't actually sleep there. What the fuck, man? Mr. Abbott was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. Ah, c take the candle. Fuck. No, I need to take the candle. Shit. Oh god, this is terrifying. Why did I do this? Oh god! I'm going through a bush. Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. Uh, uh, this is not what this place looked like before. I don't like it. Oh. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing in this beautiful, cheerful spring afternoon? Oh, they're arguing about who gets to eat him. Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we're trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. I sure hope I'm not the rabbit in the story. Scared so, but I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. I feel exactly the same way. Oh my god, is that just blood dripping down there? That's terrifying. Everything's gone. What the fuck? Am I dreaming? I hope I'm dreaming. To which Mrs. Snake answered, smiling. That is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? I, I guess. I mean, I want to, though. Mr. Vulture added, Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest is the one to eat you? Not the shadow here. Okay. Uh, after thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and quickly said, I got it. 
Why not to organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat meat. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Clever rabbit. Yep, that's a person. That is without a doubt a person. That's a person. Are they alive people is the question. Three predators agree that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. Uh, 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 uh. God, I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realise the trick. I'm way more terrified than I should be. Like, this is so simple, but I'm so scared for some reason. God. Oh. This rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy, and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang, the earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. The end! Uh, nope, I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh. I did make some discoveries, didn't I? Jesus Christ. I guess I'm back in the real world. Not that this place is much less creepy. But hey, let's go, let's go have a shower. Let's go refresh ourselves. <laughs> yep. Feel much better. Try ourselves off. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to check everywhere to see if stuff has changed. Like, is this lady still praying? God. I wonder if I slept there. Is the short space of the I thought if she's praying at night. God, who knows. Okay, so she's still not returned. Let's see if she's managed to rouse. It seems to still be the same type of thing. Maybe I just had like a five second nap. You know, sometimes you dream a shit ton. about that rug. Oof, it is the trapdoor I saw in my nightmare. Let's have a look at Mr. Baldwin's creepy necrophilia hole. <sighs> okay, let's go, I guess. Oh. Oh, I can almost smell it. Did you see? Did you see? It was there. Just in front of me. He was screaming. By an animal. She can control things and really can even know it's only one way to end the suffering. I guess I did what's right. 
So he's been burying living people and and keeping the dead ones down here for some fucking reason. Uh. Oh, our secret meeting. God, please don't tell me it's somehow our fault that all this happened. Please, 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 please. Punctual is a waste of it. Now, all that remains is to introduce our guest. Let me come in now, Professor. Father Ernest! Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The Professor genuinely shares our curiosity. We do better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists. Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. Oh god, we've been fucking with stuff that we shouldn't have been fucking with, haven't we? Shit. The moment we have long awaited now has arrived. Oh, Anthony, I'm sorry, but why are you doing this? Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open, and then we may we finally see what lies beyond. Why are you letting this happen, Father Ernest? No wonder you feel guilty. Jesus. Now I ask that you close your eyes. You'll feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. Uh, Anthony, is it too late to back out? Yep, yep, it's me. You got it. Even after all these years, I've not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is that we saw? The eye of the bird, Madame Mincy. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which, which, which should not be opened. In doing so, we shorn the veil that separates our, our world from his. His. Uh, in seeking the vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. Great, more crows. It remembers us and looks for us. It calls from its dark nest, from its abominable lair. All these years I've attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. It's abominable lair. Oh god. These poor, wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has. Only us, the four witnesses. Fuck, we returned from the dead? That's what that writing on the blackboard meant? Shit. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you. <sighs> Sorry, it's like a really important moment and I'm like yawning. Excuse me, please. Um, I was seized by curiosity. I absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me, I have sinned. You sure have. <laughs> you sure have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Him or him. Bravely have we sinned, and now our only absolution is to burn. Burn in the flames! <laughs> don't set yourself on fire! Don't, don't do it! Don't do it, lady! Oh, shit. Why do people always do these things in front of me? Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, lord. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Oh, hello! <gasps> Fuck! Baldwin, I do not want to be buried alive. Please do not bury me alive. Please. Fuck. Please. I really don't want to be buried alive. Oh god. Shit, I'm being buried alive. Oh god, this is actually really scary for some reason. Can you not? Please? Let me out? 
Hello? Hello? Anyone? Who? I guess I'll have to dig my own way out. Shit. Well, this is an intense ending. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I guess. Whew. I hope I manage to dig my way out in the next episode. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to take a break now because I need to go to bed if I can even sleep after all this. But I'll see you next time on The Last Door. <laughs> Ooh, creepy. Okay. Bye. Bye. Don't have nightmares.